1907. The year Plottergong City was founded. This old folk is the creator of our city, and has been given the title of the God of Plotagon. He had the power to create new lands and cities, and the control of the entire world. Looks like this is yet another great city I have crafted. Nothing could stop him, until... My immortality. Oh my god! No! He suddenly caught an illness that was so plague-like that it killed him. He was 87. He was the only god we had here. Well, this crystal can't stay here forever, unused. I guess I'll have to bury it underneath the really low depths of the overworld down below. The god of Plotagon's remains consisted of the powerful crystal that gave him his powers that was inside his body. With nobody at the position of using the crystal in disguise, an angel decided to go down to the overworld and bury it so far underground that nobody will be able to access it. Over the years, it has remained a lost relic underground. And while it might be a relic, it can be one to treasure, and one to just maybe destroy. You see, if anybody ever touches this crystal underground, then it will be magically placed inside their body, and give them the powers of the god of Plotagon. However, this can be a big advantage for some kind of villain planning some kind of evil scheme. They could use the crystal for world domination at their advantage. The only way to discard the effect is by destroying the crystal, but the material of it is so strong, so that will be quite some task. If it is already in someone though, then maybe the situation will have to go to extreme measures, and that won't be the nicest thing, will it? We are hoping that an evil person doesn't come and find the crystal to do whatever with our world. This seems like a good place to relax at, away from my stupid overprotective parents. Seriously, they won't even let me go to the park by myself, and I'm literally 11. Like, come on, I've seen kids around that age in the park on their own, so why can't I go by myself? It's because my parents are like, no, you'll get lost. And, we can't trust you to be on your own. What stupid reasons. I mean what could go wrong, there's hardly anybody here and all this space here provides no kind of scenery that is dangerous in any way. Dahlia? Dahlia, where the heck are you? Great, she's disappeared without us knowing again. Fred, we're going to get Dahlia again. Oh my god, can she just stop running away from us? And I need my time to watch soccer. Your soccer can wait, Fred. Come on. <laughs> hey, Mother, you can't do this. Get in the car now, Dahlia. No. Dahlia Delgado, listen to your mother right now. No. And don't you use that tone of voice at me either. You're grounded for another week, young lady. Now get in the car. No! 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 All right then. We're going to have to do this the hard way. Ah, that hurt. Grow up and get in the car. Dahlia, I really don't have time for this. Just listen to us and get in the car. What if I use reverse psychology? Dahlia, don't get in the car.
Oh now look what you've done Fred. Use your brain for once. Sorry, let me try again. Dahlia, don't come back here. Ouch! After they got home. Dahlia Delgado, we are once again very disappointed in you. Can't you follow our advice and keep yourself safe? Because we don't want anything to happen to you, you know that you shouldn't sneak out of the house without our permission or go on your own in certain places. But I've seen boys that are around my age go out on their own in places, so why can't I? Well whoever is parenting them should reconsider their actions. We parent you the way we should, and we've kept you nice and safe for the past 11 years, and we are not letting you out on your own until you are older, when you are an adult, and you can be a trustworthy person. <sighs> you were the most stupidish parents in the world, and I wish you didn't exist. Dahlia, you don't mean that, do you? Why wouldn't I mean it? You two are so overprotective. I want to have a good time by myself. But of course, you won't let me, because you don't want me getting hurt. But I bet you probably wouldn't even care if I was. Uh! Oh dear. <laughs> How could my own daughter say something so cruel about us? I suddenly feel so broken inside. I just cannot stand those imbeciles. I just wish I was in charge of everything. Nobody can tell me where to go, what to do, nothing. That'll likely be way too good to be true though. I guess I'll have to suck it up and live a life overprotected. Meanwhile, with Lizzie. Seems like another nice day. I'm also thinking of adding some more members to my fighting group, for cases that would eventually result to really big trouble. I do miss Alan though, I really had something with him. At least he'll think that I've fulfilled his legacy. Lizzie has kept my group alive and well and made sure they got past everything they faced. Oh, hey Lizzie. Lizzie, what's new? Hey Lizzie. What is up? Anything to report, leader? Well, Davy, I've been thinking of having a few more members come and join this group, as long as they prove that they are tough enough. Well, that's nice to hear. I really do agree that we need more people in this group. We're down to six due to Alan's death. With all the money we had earned from defeating Hand Drawer, I bought us a proper seven-seater car with satellite navigation. Great. I'm sick of being crammed into the boot of our old estate car. Yeah, that felt really uncomfortable, Davy. It gave me a bad back. Who even buys new cars without satellite navigation nowadays? Only people who can afford the very basic cheap cars on the market, Wesley. I'm not judging them at all, though. Okay, enough with all this motoring talk. We should probably go and convince people for the chance to be here. How many people are we allowing Lizzie? I think allowing six more would be fair enough. That'll take us to 12 members. Yeah, that's more than Alan would ever allow. But to be fair hardly anybody would come join him at first. Apart from us, and you. But wait, how are we going to bring back the people? The first two people will get in the third row of seats in the seven-seater while the rest can go in the old estate car that you'll drive as a backup car for the people to be picked up in. Let's do this. Wait, Lizzie, can you drive? If I couldn't, then I would not be in the driver's seat right now. Oh, Raymond, look. Are you here to give us a ride? Well, basically, you and your friend are two of six lucky people chosen to join our fighting group to help stop crime around our city care to join? Wait, I know you. You're that woman who saved us from hand drawer. Count me in. You two will have to clamber into the rather cramped third row of seats on the way to our base though. That might be a problem for Raymond. Oh well. There doesn't seem to be many people walking around the city right now. 
Here's a couple over there on the sidewalk. Let me ask them if they are interested. What do you think, Leslie? Should we go for it? I've always liked to fight, so... Let's do it, Manny. Great. Excuse me, sir. You are one of the lucky six chosen to be in our fighting group to stop crime. Want to join? Okay. Sir, you left the car door open in the middle of the road. There. Done. You happy? Okay, we're back at the base. You are one of the lucky six people chosen to join our fighting group to stop crime around the city. Care to join us? Sure, I'd love to. Alright. The six people have been chosen. I will now drive you all to the base we meet at. So, as you may know, you six have been chosen to join our group to fight crime here in Plotagon City, and you have accepted the offer. However, in order for all of you to become official members, you all will have to take a test to prove your strength and capability. It will consist of the following tests, table kicking, melee attacks, dinosaur fight, target shooting and living room trashing. Now you may be thinking that the first and last tests are rather ridiculous, but I am not the one who came up with these tests. The previous leader did. What happened to the previous leader? Well. He died trying to save me. But anyways, back to the topic I was talking about. Now, to pass and become an official member, you need to have a combined score of at least 450 points. We grade you on how well you do on the tests from 0 to 100. If you do not make the target score then you are out of here. Now state your names. Darcy. Julia. Raymond. Leslie. Manny. Nathan. Great. We'll go in alphabetical order. Darcy, Julia, Leslie, Manny, Nathan and then Raymond. Let's begin, shall we? Kick it right at me. Looks like I'm a good boxing bag for you to beat up. You missed. Yes. You've done great. Great. Amazing. Superb stuff. All right, now we'll head back to our base and see the results for all of you. So, you all need at least 450 points to pass and become members. I'll announce everybody's name alphabetically, and then followed by their scores. Darcy. 480. You remember. Julia. 460. You're also in. Leslie. 475. You're in too. Manny. 465. You are coming in. Nathan. 470. You are also in. And lastly, Raymond. 5. What? How the heck did I? 100. You got a perfect score of 500. Well done everyone. You've made us proud and proved to us that you can be strong fighters. Now, please wait here while we get you your GURP uniforms. So what do you guys think? 
Not the greatest fit but it will do. I'm in total agreement with Julia. I like it. Yeah, it's swell. My hair feels a little uncomfortable, but apart from that it's all good. Yeah, the outfit is truly spectacular. The stuff that you are wearing right now will be your official fighting wear. Welcome all of you, to the group. Hooray! For all of you. Yes, very well done to you all. Now, before we go off to find some problems around the city, we will make sure you six get to know us. I am Kevin. I'm Miguel. I'm Dennis. My name is Wesley. I'm Davey. And over there is your group leader, Lizzie. Yep, that's me. As group leader, I thank you for taking the chance to get here, and congratulate you for making it here. And since you're all now official members, how about we go out looking for crime? Yeah. You want that? You all got it. Let's go. 2 a.m. in the morning. You know what? Forget my stupid parents. I'll just run away. I can handle being on my own, especially seeing from the amount of times I've snuck out of the house. Good thing that Dad isn't sleeping on the armchair like he usually does. Oh, goodbye, family. Goodbye. <laughs> <sighs> Did I hear something downstairs? Dahlia? Fred, Dahlia's gone again. She must have went out of the house at night. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, don't just sit there, we have to go get her now. Okay, as long as you get moving too, Cindy. Just so these idiots will never find me, I'll live underground. I have my belongings that are somewhat important to me with me, and if I ever get hungry or thirsty, there's always this bar that's next to the graveyard. I wonder where a shovel could be. Is that the shovel in the tree? Whoa! What on earth just happened? And where am I? I feel like I've fallen as high as 3,500 feet. On the bright side, my parents won't ever find me here. What is that eye blinding shine? Do not touch. Do not touch. Do not touch. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. I wonder why I should not touch it. You must destroy this crystal. You must destroy this crystal. You must destroy this crystal. It looks so beautiful though. I just wonder why I cannot touch it. You know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. This shouldn't kill me though, right? Ah! What is happening? Can somebody explain what's happening to me? E -e -e -e? My eyes. Ah! Uh Okay, why am I in angel's clothing, and why do I have a halo above my head? You, miss, are the new god of Plotagon. I am. Wait, hold on. I think I remember my mother telling me this story about our former god. How he had a crystal. How he died. Oh my god, that crystal that I touched was originally the power source of that god. So basically, I am the new god. I can do whatever I want with anything, 
whenever I want. Well, then, this could be perfect revenge to my parents. <laughs> Ah, what better to do than to have a read of a classic tale of the foundation of our city. For the past 100 years, his crystal is still lying down in the depths of the earth, protected, nowhere to be found as of now. If somebody ever comes in contact with the crystal, the crystal will go inside their body and make them the new god of Plotagon. This isn't great however, because if a villain had done so, they'd use the power to their advantage to take over the world. If anybody ever finds the crystal, they have to destroy every last shard, even if that's a hard task, as the crystal is very strong. Everybody is praying that this. I gotta go investigate the noise. Dahlia please don't do this to us. We're sorry we kept you inside all your life. You can go experience the outdoors on your own. Ooh, are you dumb, Mom? I'm the god of plot again and I'm already outside by myself. Maybe you'll soon learn that. When you go down into the depths of hell. Ha! Oh, no. Cindy, no. You disintegrated your own mother. How could you? She isn't the only one getting burnt to a crisp. Ha! No! You saved me. Get out of here right now. Find shelter. Hey, you! Pink hair jerk. This is what these stupid residents of the city will get to their land if they ever interrupt the killing done by me. Since when did you become the new god of Plotagon? Come to think of it, you're more like the demon of Plotagon, you killing innocent people and wrecking our land for no reason. I've only killed my mother, you unintelligent teen. An intelligent teen? May I remind you that I'm 24. Ouch. Look, you're going to have to face the fact that I'm your god now. And as long as you puny people bow to me and respect my decisions, I will keep this place as alive and well as it currently is. You'd better leave us alone and craft some new and innovative cities, since that is your job, you know. Oh, I will. I certainly have that in mind now. Even if those cities are built for evil purposes. <laughs> If our new god thinks she can all of a sudden use her powers at her advantage against Plotagon City, then she won't get very far when my group faces her. And when he got the news, he literally wondered for the rest of the night why his phone bill came to $1,239. My 16-year-old son came home at around midnight and then the inn. Everybody listen, I've just seen the new god of Plotagon in the skies and she not only killed her mother, but tried to kill her father, wrecked a bit of our land and now plans to build and craft cities that'll be against us. Could you tell me that again? I wasn't listening. Ah, uh, seriously? One quickly repeated warning message later. Well, there's already a big task up ahead, but we're up for it. Yep. Team, assemble. I am ready to go. I agree with what he said. Kevin, you know my name. Me and Wesley are ready. Let's go. And now, the newcomers. Yeah, yeah, I'm up for this. So am I. Manny, are you ready for this? What, honey? Ah, uh, I am. Next time, bring your contact lenses. Let's do this. Yeah! Alright. Transportation, I'll drive the seven-seater, all of the six new members can get in with me, while Miguel will drive the old estate car. Which to this day I still do not know how it was repaired from that horrible crash, 
while the rest of the group can go along with him in the car. Cloudcon Action News with Voicing. Good afternoon and welcome to this edition of Plotagon Action News on Plotagon TV. Today, there has been reported sightings of a new god of Plotagon, who appeared to apparently be destroying land and killing innocent people. The god was pictured as a girl about to go into adolescence as you can see above. Uh, all right. Stupid people watching this live broadcast. I am here to be reminding you that this city is once again under threat. Since I am your new god, or goddess, since you're probably shouting at your screens to me. Anyways, since I am the new goddess of Plotagon, you shall all bow down to me and respect me, or else I will have to bring the disrespect to all of you, by building my own cities made to attack this city. I am warning you people. Do not ever disrespect your new goddess in any way possible or... This is the police. You are under arrest. Well you asked for it everyone. Now please stand by while I kill these policemen. This is Plotagon TV. Normal programming is being suspended. Our new goddess of Plotagon is not only being proved to be real, but has also planned to build her own cities to attack ours. Due to this the Plotagon emergency alert system has issued an attack threat warning. The reason why we warn you all now is because since she's the goddess, she could do anything as quick as possible. So lock your doors, stay inside, close all your windows, turn off all lights, and to those homeless people, well, try and sneak into someone's house if you're lucky. Normal programming is being suspended and we'll continue to update you all regularly. Plotagon TV will cease regular programming until then. Dan. Have you seen how horrid our new goddess has been acting ever since she got the role? Finally, you call her a goddess instead of a god. I am sick of you making her say her role name wrong, since everybody down on earth and herself has believed that she's called a god and not a goddess. This is no time for writing in movie filler. This is serious. We have to find out a way to put an end to her reign of terror. Yeah, Plotagon City can't be ripped apart. It has been a proud and brilliantly crafted city since 1907. So this means no time to relax in here? Well that sucks. Hey, you lazy people can't just sit on armchairs all day. Get up. We're going to put an end to this mayhem. Wow, there seems to be a lot of trees and grass. There's tons of space to build my cities to attack Plotagon City. If my mother and father hadn't have kept me inside for so long, I wouldn't have brought this on themselves. <gasps> Aha! I finally found you, young lady. Hey, mother. What are you doing here? You should be with the devil. You have caused enough chaos in your life, Dahlia. It's time you pay for. Uh, angels, take her down to hell. No, we don't have to follow your orders. You are wrecking the land that had been crafted by our previous god. Insolent Jack. Ha! Oh no. We'd better scram. That's right, useless angels. Go! Ouch. You dare throw your halo at me? Die. Right, now back to some city building. <laughs> Lizzie, have you actually planned this out? Well, Ern. Uh, 
How in the world are we going to get to heaven? I... I don't know. But I'll think of something. You'd better think of something quick. Arrgh. This level is just... impossible! 99.9% .9 impossible, Happy Wheels level? They're everywhere. You'd better believe it, miss. Whoa. Don't even go there. Like, at all. We are in the middle of an important mission and I'd like you to. I can help you. You can? You don't even know where we're going or what we're trying to do. She's right. Name's Arthur, what's your problem? We need to get to heaven, too. <laughs> you would never get to heaven unless one of you guys died. Ah! We would not be here if that were the case. We're actually trying here. Yeah, we're not just brain-dead adults. Well, sorry, Mr. Big-Headed Buff-Up Man. You take that back. Doesn't that count as a compliment on your muscles? Hey, give me my phone back. Oh, people with all their technology and stuff nowadays. What has this world become? No, my phone. You are an idiot. I think I just broke his phone. Let's just leave Arthur be. He's nothing but a distraction. Okay, maybe I probably underestimated you all before. Oh, what do you want? Can't you see we're trying to get to heaven to stop a new goddess from destroying this world? That's your mission? Wow, I should have let you clarify more earlier. So now you don't consider us insane? Too late for that. Please? I potentially have loads of ways for you to get to heaven, especially ways needed for a mission to defeat an enemy. Prove it. I can write a list full of ways. I got an A-plus in physics you know. And I'm sorry for how I acted before. Oh, that was a harsh ride in the trunk. Well there wasn't any room for you in either of the cars we brung. At least we're at my house now. Quite classy looking wouldn't you say? Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll go inside, you help yourself to anything. I'll write my list upstairs and bring it down when I'm done. Now this is first class, Raymond. Never have I agreed on something so fast. A fire alarm. Just like in a public building like a school or something. I would actually like to live here if I could. Yeah. We don't have all the time in the world though. We have to stop this goddess soon. Lounge area. Doors opening. I got my list. It's long, but at least one of them should work though. Arthur, who are you talking to? I'm just on Discord, mother. What if I'm disturbing you? I'm sorry. That's just my mother. Here's the list. I only had black paper for some reason. Arthur's list of ways to get to heaven. By Arthur. 1. Make a tower of people tall enough to reach heaven. 2. Fly a plane up to the altitude of Three heaven if you can find so one. Much Three, out. make Words a jetpack. Trick the option to and fly up to heaven. Quite Please turn over to the next to page. All of these time cards. I'm serious. Hey, stupid narrator. And I don't care if I just broke that table. I was reading a list out for goodness sake. Oh. Sometimes people just can't get the time cards placed out on the correct times. Try harder next time crew. Sorry. And narrator, get off of that table and quit lazing around like a stupid idiot. Ah. Uh, Arthur I am not sure making a huge stack of people was a good idea. I have to hold all of these people, and you'd better be careful when climbing the tower. You are definitely saying something. And how is everybody going to get up? If we all went, the tower would gradually lower in height. Dang. 
I didn't think of that. Everybody disband. Well, that totally worked, Arthur. <laughs> it was all part of the plan. Darcy, I told you, I can't fly a plane. Try. Neither of us can. I told you so. Ah, you're even worse than my grandma. Oh, shut up. We won't do that. Because the former leader Alan had a jetpack that ran out of gas easily, and he fell to his death because of that. We're not risking our lives as easy as that. Pardon the fourth wall break, but if you don't believe any of this stuff about Alan's death, I suggest you watch my first movie to see it all. Who are you talking to, Lizzie? Ah, uh, arg. The viewers. That's the dang point of fourth wall breaking Kevin. Wow. I didn't know you could build super high buildings Arthur. It's high enough to get us up to heaven. We'll just go in, get to the top floor and we're on the rooftop and right there. Genius. Maybe I made it too thin. Hey! You get off of my crane, stupid guy. Oh, we can't even be bothered to do that. Oh, it's hopeless. We'll never be able to get to heaven at all, or even on time for that matter. So much for Arthur's ideas. Well, at least I'm trying. What the heck are you doing to help? Yeah, trying to get us killed and or exhausted to death. With over 2,800 stupid, pointless, failed attempts. This is all just a waste of time. Gosh, calm down, Wesley. Nobody tells me to calm down around here. Wesley get off of her. You dare push my husband off of the cliff? You're going with Raymond. You people are such weaklings. Weaklings, huh? Take this. I didn't want to have to take it this far, Wesley, but you have got to go. Over my dead body. You need to pull yourself together, Wesley. You are just making the matter worse and better for the goddess. Do you want her to destroy this city? Gosh dang it. Now you better go and bring Julia and Raymond back up here or so help me I'm going to throw you off of this cliff. Ah. What was I doing then? I better fix what I caused. Help. Me and Raymond can't swim. We're gonna drown here. I'm coming for you both. You guys okay? <coughs> now I really wish I didn't get an F in swimming class in 6th grade. <coughs> Same. Hey, that's another thing we have in common. I'm sorry for acting so hostile back there. Well you should be. You nearly killed us both. Yeah. Julia and Raymond, are you okay? We're alright, Dennis. But we were feeling extremely flushed when we were almost about to drown back there. Wesley wasn't helping matters at all just then, right, Leslie? Yeah, that rhymes. You are right, Darcy. He nearly killed Julia and Raymond. And also, solid rhyme. What on earth were you thinking back there, Wesley? Can you just stop hurting me? I am sorry for what I did, I've apologized to Julia and Raymond, they heard me. Can we just get back to what we were doing? 
even if it was just saying that we were out of Arthur's ideas. At least he tried. Well, this is where I just had to get you. We understand you tried, but I think we'll now have to dispose of you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I really am. I did try my best to help. What are we going to do with you? I'll just go home. Arthur, where in the world have you been? I thought you were just heading to the grocery store. Well, I can. Erm. Another lie. No phone for you tonight. Someone broke it. Well, I'm certainly not buying you another one. Now get in the car. Lizzie, what are we going to do? Not even an A-plus student in physics could solve our problems. Well. Um. Ah. Crud. I don't know. In heaven. Gosh, I feel very bored. Maybe I should look down on Lizzie and her group. Especially on hearing about this new goddess planning to destroy Plotagon City. Ever since that was first heard of, I had been trying to find a way to kill this goddess in case she loses her source of power inside of her. I know about the plague-like illness that killed the last god, but I'm trying to find how it happened and how it works. If I am able to, I could possibly stop her, the problem is, she is just so powerful. She has every source of power, and she could probably summon anything. But, if I do find this out, and if I can get the illness in a bottle, maybe, I can try and get it to Lizzie, so that she can use it on the goddess and possibly kill her. I know she'd be able to do that, she defeated a super powerful villain before, so why can't she get this one? Alright, it's time. Let's craft the first city. alive. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to listen to some music on the radio that sometimes helps me think. Not quite the one I was looking for, oh well. Oh, Wesley, what do you want? Lizzie, you see, I really don't know why I got into that. Wesley, there is one thing I'm going to have to confess to you. I'm kicked out, aren't I? Well, in a way. Yes. Big surprise. And let me guess, it was because I put some of my teammates at harm? How do you guess? Oh, you're so predictable when you have to be. And you know what? I've never liked you. I've never liked anybody in this group. I've never liked that idiot who thinks he's a brain box at physics. But he isn't because all of his plans failed. I've never liked anybody in Plot Argon City. I've never liked this city in general. And I never even liked Alan one bit. Honestly, what's gotten into you, Wesley? Yep, watch him get angry and put us in danger again. Ready for that? You bet. Well then. If you feel that way. Then go. We don't need you. Then, so, I, will. My life's never had any value at all until I joined this dumb, dumb group. What do you mean? I was bullied, neglected, I had no friends. I had nobody by my side and nothing to help myself. Ah, uh, Wesley, pick up the ball, you idiot. Wesley, when you get here in the stands, I am going to beat you to a pulp. You're useless. Oh, look at poor little Wesley. He's gonna cry like a little baby. 
cry like a baby, Wesley. You are one, and shouldn't all babies do that? Oh, Wesley, you were going to value them. You hear that? No value to me. <laughs> well, that's a shame in all but, I don't accept tragic backstories as appeals. Just, leave us be now. Fine then. I guess there's no point in living anymore. Huh? I've only got myself to blame now. Like my father said, I am of no value. To anybody. I'm sure you can find a job that's like what this used to be for you here. It's over. I have no purpose, and soon I'll have... No life. Wesley, don't take this too far. No, Wesley. Stop, don't do this to yourself. Yeah, Lizzie's right about another job you could find that was as good as this. Forget it. I said, it's over. Well, goodbye. World. I have no purpose so you probably wouldn't even care about this. Stop this right now Wesley. Think about the recognition you got when we defeated Handror. Yeah, and now it's gone since you kicked me out of this group. You are not tempting me, I told you, it's over, now shut up and let me end my suffering. Someone grab him, he's gonna jump. Don't do this to yourself Wesley. Get with the program. I'm through with life, and that's that. Now good, bye. No! He really did it. <laughs> Why? Why did he do this to himself? I don't know, Dennis, but this is... Shocking! <laughs> oh, hug me, Miguel. I'm absolutely heartbroken. Come here. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like this was my fault completely. If I hadn't have kicked him out, he wouldn't have just gone and wasted a whole lot of potential for years to come. Well he nearly killed me and- Do not, bring, that, up. You two didn't die, and Wesley has. Okay okay, keep your wig on Lizzie. I haven't got a wig. It's an idiom. Ah, I see. Where am I? What is this town? And how come I just suddenly appeared as a middle-aged man? And what even is my name? This new city will officially be known as Dahlia City. Pardon the effortless name. And you, right there, man, have been given a random name by me like everyone here has. Yours is Nate. I like the sound of that. I seem to have appeared as an old chief of a police force. And my name seems to be Chief Parker. Hmm. Well, I guess I'd better do. Ah. I seem to have just appeared in the pharmacy. I seem to have just appeared here too. Great. Dahlia City is up and running. Soon they'll come its allies. And boy, will I be unstoppable. <laughs> uh, 
Why do I have yet another useless angel to eventually deal with? Oh, hello there, goddess. Uh, what is it? Huh, you're a bit of a rude one. Don't question it. Oh, I better just get to it. Do you know this woman who wears a black and pink shirt, has red and black hair and is roughly in her twenties? Why do you need to know? Do you know her? Tell me. Alright. No need to slap me. I do know her. She told me her rage. And I think I remember zapping her with a lightning bolt and telling her that I will build my own cities to attack Plotagon City. The city filled with the most overprotective, stupid, and there and brain dead jerks ever. I've suffered there for 11 years, and I am suffering there no more now that I have discovered this powerful crystal that makes whoever touches it the controller of the world. This is full on payback, being delivered straight to Plotagon City. Soon the world will be mine when I build so much more, I shall take over every place in the country. Sweden, America, Canada, Denmark, France, England, Spain, Poland. Literally anywhere at any time and in any order. Oh, the joy of world takeover will soon be mine. I wanna join you. What? I'm against her. She kicked me out of her fighting group just because I got super mad and put some of my teammates at harm during my rage. She wouldn't buy me staying even with a tragic backstory I had, and thanks to her my life became worthless, just like how it used to be before I first joined that group. So I just had to end my suffering by plunging myself off of a cliff, a 242 foot drop to be precise, into a raging river, to my death. And thankfully I will never see her or any of my stupid teammates again. You know, I feel pretty bad for you. That woman that kicked you out, she's just another example of a stupid, and fair and brain dead Plotagon City resident. And I can understand why you want to join me. It's so you can get back at her. But I just want to tell you this. I've never had a sidekick before as I had never trusted anyone to be that for me. Since you're joining me, I will give you my powers, that only I usually am able to have. You had better not try and double-cross me or you were so, dead. I am already dead. Dead as an angel. When you die as an angel you simply can't be heard of ever again. Do you accept? Heck yes. You know, thinking about what I did before. Maybe Lizzie was right. I just said my life was of no value, and I did throw away so much years of possible potential. I mean, I really was so sorry for what I did to Julia and Raymond. If only she had forgave me. I know what I did was wrong, and I am thinking that I really want to try and make up for everything. If I come back down to earth and help them all, I probably will prove to myself that I have a purpose in life. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I will make up for all my bad ways and help Lizzie and her gang members out. <laughs> I also know it'll tick that goddess off if I double cross her like that. But we'll all be laughing when that happens. Manny, should we just give this up completely? We lost Wesley all because of me. We haven't gotten anywhere with Arthur's list of ideas. What's the point of trying anymore? Lizzie, you're really being hard on yourself? Yes, this may be a big loss, but we have to get to heaven somehow. We can't give up. Well, I feel like giving up. We might as well just let that goddess take over. Lizzie, that is not like you at all. Oh, congratulations, you noticed. I thought you had too low of an IQ to be able to do so. Lizzie, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> Just go sulk off in a corner, you good for nothing dumb idiot. I did not join this group to have one person kill themselves, then another to just give up and smack talk one of us. I'm out of here. I'm with you Darcy. No guys. 
Please don't go, I didn't mean it. Sorry Lizzie, but it has come to our conclusion that you can't keep the group alive. You're no Alan. <laughs> well, it seems like now I'm back to my life of total failure. Ugh, Lizzie's changed, and really not in a good way at all. If she's now acting like that, perhaps she won't need us either. You definitely have a point, Davy. If only someone could make her stop. That just reminded me, we lost Wesley. But if only he were here to maybe give it a shot. If he said his life was worth nothing, then maybe that could have been his chance to redeem himself. Tweety, 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 tweety. I don't think even watching the scenery around here can help us feel better like it usually does. Oh my gosh! Look! I know, I've really gone insane just before I jumped off that cliff. Wesley, you. Yes, I was a total idiot for doing that. Wesley, you. Yes, I really made you all upset. Okay seriously can you stop interrupting, I'm trying to say that you made a stairway to heaven. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. You made a stairway to heaven, so now we can get there. But you did interrupt me again. Come on everybody. Get on the stairway to heaven. It'll guide you up there automatically so no need to tire yourselves climbing up multiple steps. I think Wesley is already redeeming himself here. We got to heaven, without Lizzie. He needs her now, huh? Nobody. Ha yeah. Five hours later. Sidekick. Sidekick, where are you? Don't just laze around on the job. You were the one that wanted to help me all this time. Hey goddess, say hello to my little friends I brought up. Oh, you kidnapped the team and brought them up here so they can face my power. Good going, sidekick. That isn't why I brought them up. I brought them up. To kill you. Whoa! That goddess has every single power possible. Wesley should hopefully do some damage to her. I am furious with you, sidekick. I knew I shouldn't have trusted a double-crosser like you. Now you and your puny gang members must pay for doing the crime. What the? Let us go! No, and you, former sidekick, are relieved of your powers. And so you don't escape. You won't be allowed to fly either. Therefore you will be back to your powerless form. No. You broke the cage yourself. Are you having a giggle? Don't be thinking you can simply escape like that. Now you lot just wait in here. I'll deal with you later after building my next cities that will attack yours. <laughs> oh and I just remembered something. You won't have your poor little leader to help you all out. Oh. Boo-hoo to you. Lizzie wasn't here the whole time. She just decided to give up on us, so we abandoned her. Oh, that's awful. Now we're all trapped in here, and we don't have Lizzie. I think we're all going to be regretting about what we said about her now. If only I had those powers right now. I could have gone down to tell her that we need her. Now I wonder how she's living life without us. <sighs> ah, horrible! 
I'm never setting foot again here. Not like I need any of you in my miserable life. Looks like the old Lizzie has returned. I am pretty sure you know the drill by now. Obviously. I'll just never set foot here anymore because I was serving spit muffins again. Lizzie went back to her old ways from a few years ago, getting fired from every hiring place in the world, as she went from a hero back to a zero. And up in heaven, her former fighting members were left in the cage, while the goddess Dahlia Delgado built even more cities to attack Plotagon City. It seemed like the end was nearing. There was no hope for us all. Ugh, there's no need to add that overused joking. Come on crew, let's get this over with already. I don't think I can last much longer in this alley. If only someone would give me some loose change. Any loose change? <sighs> Another poor soul out stranded in. Haven't I seen you before? You remind me of my daughter that I lost 14 years ago. Daughter? Are you... My Lizzie? You know my name. Lizzie. Mother. We've finally found each other again. Oh Lizzie, my daughter I thought that was completely gone. I have missed you so much denying that would be a crime. Can you please take me to your house? I've been out in this alley for a week with no food or water. Wait, you've been out in the streets with absolutely nothing to keep you living? Come on, we have to get you to somewhere immediately. Let's get you to my house. Ah. Yes. Food. I have to keep my daughter alive and well. How did we lose each other by the way? Well, okay. Here goes. It all started back when you were born in the 90s. I was so attached to you when you were born, so much so that whenever your father was around, I'd just be with you. I loved you that much. <laughs> Probably around 2005, your father had had enough of us. He had to talk to me in the living room about this. Jeanette, you hardly spent any time with me. You'd rather just be with your precious daughter Lizzie. What? I love you too though, Ralph. I just love Lizzie so so much that I would literally do anything for her. You don't feel the same towards me though, do you? Well, um... I'm filing for divorce. What? And I am going to make sure you and Lizzie are separated from each other. No! You won't do a thing to my Lizzie. After you just slapped me so hard, yeah, you'll be regretting that. And then, that was the last straw. What the? Hey! Stop! Let us go! Ah, help me! Mommy! <laughs> Your father filed for a divorce, and ordered two taxes to take us away, and we never saw each other again from then. <laughs> Quiet you! I'm taking you to a mental home. <laughs> you took my mommy away. Ah! Shut up, stupid kid! I'm taking you to an orphanage. Let's just pretend your parents didn't exist. And that was it. 
from men, we were separated. Me at a mental home, you, wrongfully, in an orphanage. How did you escape the mental home? I didn't technically escape. They just let me go when I had forgotten about you and was never desperate to get you again. I had to stay at the orphanage until I was an adult. But everyone there who was really rude had made me be like them, which could explain the multiple job failures I have had in the past. I did marry once, but it didn't last long, don't ask me why. I did save the world once with a fighting group that I became leader of, but they abandoned me after they thought I was gonna give up. I mean... There was plenty of drama already back there, one of the group members jumped off a cliff, one fell to their death while saving the world, it was nuts. Whoa, did you hear that Lizzie? I did. Wait a moment. Oh my gosh. I just realized all this time that that goddess is destroying our city. My group need me. But I thought they abandoned you. I've gotta go now. Mother take shelter I love you bye. Okay I'm going. I just don't want to lose you again. The goddess is starting her destruction. Let's head to Plotagon city and help her. Call the Dahlia city army. Why do you always carry a banana in your pocket? I like bananas. I know, but I think that one has been in there for like a week. Ugh. Everyone from all of my cities, please head to Plotagon City to contribute in destroying it. Our time has come, and we're gonna shine bright while we show everyone in Plotagon City what we can do. Ah, let us out already. Oh, I still have you lot. Why not become part of the action? It's basically VR, but without the V. <laughs> ha. Officers, our allies will be here with us shortly. We've got a city to destroy. Evacuate the city now. Yes! 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 The satisfaction. The destruction. Watch the flames as they take over the city. Too bad that stupid unintelligent teen isn't here to save the city now. Come on old Mustang. Don't let your V10 engine fail me now. <laughs> you. In that car. Let me in. I have to find my allies. Lizzie. Oh we could rely on you right now. Let me find them for you. Get in. I have a radar. <coughs> Where are we? I don't know but we should probably find Lizzie. This is the P-16 Army Jet. Over. P-16, all allies have just about arrived and you are now permitted to drop missiles. Over. You might want to get going, missiles are behind us. Missiles. Good thing this is a V-10. Incoming. This may be the end of Plotagon City. And... Me? Oh... Mother. No! <laughs> Alright, soldiers. It's time we get to work. Pull out your weapons, roam around the place and destroy. Ah. Uh, are you hurt, Terra? Well, uh? Not really. But that was a perfectly good Mustang destroyed. And there goes the radar too. With the end probably nearing here, it'll make the task of finding my allies almost impossible. We can't give up though. 
We must try. You're right. I was so foolish to give up on the others before, I'll never dare do that again. Now let's go. Davy, what do you think Lizzie would have gone to at this point? Oh, ooh. Taco Bell. No, Kevin. What about Five Guys? Kevin, the city is in the process of being destroyed right now. I knew that. Did you? What about my stairway to heaven? What? Wesley, how are you alive again? You didn't notice all this time. But then again, I'm not sure myself. Maybe when the goddess removed my powers, I must have been turned into my alive and normal form rather than my angel form. I would assume that is the case. I guess if you are me, you live more than once. I hope you're not bragging. Why on earth would I be doing that now? Uh! Those fools are still alive, and they're trying to get to heaven again. How foolish of my former sidekick to leave the stairway to heaven that he built completely there in sight. There it is. Come on, let's go and... Oh no! What? The stairway just got destroyed. <laughs> well, that's just cheeky. You think that's cheeky? How about this? Oh shoot. Uh oh. This ain't good. Ah, oh, we're stranded in lava. Help. So tell me now, was that cheeky? Was it? Wow. Plotagon City is a wreck now. I know. I really hope we are not that much further from your allies. Oh. This being the end. Oh, hug me, Dennis. I'm scared. I'm too scared to do so. We need Lizzie. <laughs> this is it. We're gonna die. Lizzie, please hurry up. We need you now. Lizzie, I believe I might have found your allies. Really, Tara? Yes. But there is one problem. They are all stranded in Lafa. They need you. They can't do a thing on those rocks, can they? They need you, Lizzie. Go help them now. Okay, okay. I'm on it. Ouch. Oh. Sorry, Lizzie. I was in the way. I must say I am quite injured. I'm right here, guys. Lizzie's here. Help us, Lizzie. I don't think these rocks will last much longer. Before I do, I just want to say that I am sorry for everything. I am sorry I gave up before. I'm sorry for being so hard on myself. Lizzie, we forgive you. Just help us already. I'm on. Okay, nine more to go. Whoa. Hurry, Lizzie. Phew. That little sneak just pops out of nowhere. Uh! Stop moving, Speedy Gonzales. You may be fast, but can't you avoid this? Ha! You're all safe now. Lizzie, look out. Uh. No! Do not let go, Lizzie. Is this really the fate I deserve? It won't be Lizzie. It won't. Just don't let go. Oh dear. Looks like your hero is about to plummet into the lava. Now what are you gonna do? Lizzie. Ah! Lizzie. No! <laughs> She's gone. Huh? Don't worry. We've got you. You. Thanks so much. We are going to help you put an end to my wicked daughter's reign of terror. Yeah! And this might be a good opportunity for me to lose weight. Yeah, for once. But anyways, let's get this on. <sighs> this is it for all of us. I can't believe that my reign as queen has to end like this. This goddess has destroyed nearly every single bit of land that our former god had created. We are not going to let our land fall to pieces as easy as that. 
Yeah. We are going to get her and show her who she is really messing with. It's a good thing she didn't take away our fly abilities, because if she did, you'd be dead. Burnt to a crisp in that lava. We saved you from lava, now we're taking you and your allies up to heaven to get her. Thank you, angels. We will destroy her, hopefully. We believe in you all. Well, well, well. It looks like you've all came to challenge your almighty goddess. But no one can stop me. I am invincible. Yeah, only she thinks that. Nobody dares question the power of Dali and Elgardo. Ha! Huh. Trying to catch me off guard, huh? There's 12 of us and only one of you. So? My power should destroy you all easily. Like... this. You seem to be missing all of your attacks, Vodalia. Are you really that powerful? You just seem to refuse taking some damage. More like... She's just blabbering about. Let's get her. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm intimidated. Not. Whoa, maybe I take that back. You would only win against us if you used your full power. Hey, you're right. Why wasn't I doing this the whole time? Whoops. Oh, nice going, Kevin. Oh, now you're going to be sorry that you messed with me. Whoa. Ah. Yikes. Let's just charge. Well, this tile ain't my thing. Ha! Ah, that is painful. You haven't got my powers. That's my big advantage. And I'm pretty sure that I am more powerful than the previous god of Pilotargon. I am so going to get you. Ah! Julia. No. This could be it for us. You are so. No, everyone is getting taken down so easily. Let me in the out. No. Me and Darcy. No. Oh. Oh. Ah, we're done for. It's such a shame that your promising looking team cannot stand even the slightest of chances against me. With them all taken down, you are the next. Oh, yeah. Over my dead body. Ah. Feeling weak? Good. I shall now cease your life. Goodbye! What was that? Feeling weak, huh? Say that to yourself now. Do you start to suddenly feel that way? What have you done to me? Ah! Something's happening to me and I don't think it's great. Alan. This is it for him. She will die just like our former god did, but this time, it's deserved. Oh, Alan. You're a lifesaver. I don't feel so good. This is painful. Ah! Ah! What happened? And what's this? Oh my gosh, the crystal. Was she defeated? You're welcome. I did expect to thank you, though. And besides, the world is not completely saved yet. We have to get rid of Dahlia's cities and armies that she herself alone has crafted. We may have the solution for that. And I'll be needing you for it. What are you going to do? We still have the crystal that has been dropped from my daughter. If I can find a hospital around here. Yeah. That's not really natural, but that will have to be the only way, as all of the hospitals in Plotargon City have been destroyed like nearly all of the city has. If I can find one in heaven though, I can get someone to perform an operation on you. They will put the crystal inside of you, and then you can set everything back to the way it was. That's an outstanding idea. But you could have picked anyone out of us. I've heard that you've wanted to feel like you have a purpose here. You said that you were of no value, but that is why I chose you to do this. You can make everything up and feel like you have a purpose here. This is your moment. You're right. Will the operation hurt though? You won't feel a thing. You'll be put to sleep before it begins. Okay, great.
and this may likely be the last news broadcast made before our city is fully destroyed. Wait! Why are you back? Oh, don't even go there. All right, Wesley, we are going to send you to sleep as we begin this operation. You will not feel a thing during this process. This should take about under an hour. Later. So, how did the operation go? It couldn't have went any better. The crystal is now inside of his body, and he's temporarily at this moment our new god. All he needs to do now is just clear every bit of damage that Dahlia Delgado had caused to Plotagon City, and have her cities and armies wiped out too. All right, Wesley. It's time to do your part. I really hope this works. What? What is happening? What the? I was about to get the queen. No. 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 This time, we have a... What is happening? No. The city's getting destroyed. Ah! Ah! The city is saved. Yeah. Well done, Wesley. That was quite tough, but we did it. It's a good thing I was here to save you all. Are you that guy that Lizzie was talking about when she mentioned that you fell to your death? That's me. We thank you for helping us defeat Dolly. If you weren't there, we would have been done for sure. Alan, how were you able to kill Dahlia? I had spent a super long time finding a way to make the exact same plague-like instant killing illness that had killed our previous god of Plutagon. It took a super long time, though since researching it up was a pain, nobody ever knew how it happened and how it could be made. But, the most intelligent scientist angel around here was able to provide me with information about the deadly illness. The name of it was the Immortalization, an instant killing disease that can easily kill even the most immortal gods. Since I really needed the resources to make a demortalization brew, they were super top secret by the way, never to be touched by anyone, the scientist gave them to me and gave me the recipe for it. It took a while to brew, but I eventually made it. And then when I saw you and your group in trouble, I had to come in at the last second and throw the potion bottle containing the brew right at the goddess, and with the brew spilling out onto her, the effect started, and she went down in seconds. We still don't know how our older god of Plodagon caught the disease though, likely due to how long ago it happened. Some angels that existed back then are still alive right now and maybe could have an answer, but maybe they might not remember for the same reason. Well, that scientist who found out the immortalization's information is also a lifesaver. Nobody had known before then, so how could anyone make a brew of it? Wait, I still have the crystal inside of me. Well... We are going to give you two choices. The first one, is stay up here in heaven and become our new god, and the second, is return to Plotagon City and have the crystal removed from you. Make your choice. As a god, I can make others a god. Maybe I'll- We don't allow too many gods up here. Oh? Well if that's the case, I'll return to Plot Argon City. Yes, thank you, Wesley. Lizzie, am I still not allowed to? Wesley. You are welcome in my group anytime. Oh, Lizzie. You are the greatest. Aw, shucks. It's great to have Plot Argon City back to the way it was. Granted, some people perished during Dahlia's rampage, but hey, there is plenty of people still. And we'll remember those fallen ones. My fighting group has continued to go strong. We're an even better team with more of us. Arthur got himself a new iPhone XR with his mother's credit card. This new phone works like a dream. You owe me over $1,000, boy. Mm. Oh. I spend a lot more time with my mother now. Like when I was young, we were super close. 
Everyone in the city streets is back to doing the things they love, which is great. And remember when I said that we'd steal hand drawers grave in my last movie. <laughs> we did exactly that. As for the angels, well, yes, the crystal was thankfully destroyed and Plotagon City should be free from any kind of world takeovers related to that. And while the angels may not have had a god to lead them, with the number of buildings they already had had up in heaven, they decided to expand their area above the clouds, and made heaven pretty much like a city. Yes! A gym. Perfect! You may be wondering what happened to Dahlia's father. Well... Any loose change, anyone? Huh? Well, he'll likely find his long-lost mother out in the streets. And hopefully a new wife soon. So yeah, Plotagon City is at peace once again. Yes, you probably are thinking, but what's the moral of the story? Well, I wouldn't worry about that. I just enjoy the peaceful life that we can have here in our city, for as long as that can last. And if trouble strikes, we'll be on the case. We mean it.